I just started. Okay. Well, congratulations. Yeah, six months old. Yeah. Well, as you notice, now that you have one, it's a little bit older and has friends and everything else, you also have the brand new baby. So now you just don't have the seven or eight year old things thrown back there. Now you got the baby things thrown back there too. As you notice, the C250 Mercedes Benz has a very large trunk. As you can tell, as I reach way back here, it's a very large trunk. A lot of things can be put in there. Also, you like to say you will go fishing with your one son. One thing this car does have as an option is what we call the split fold in rear seats. When I reach way in here, them seats can drop completely down. You can go ahead and put all kinds of baby stuff in there if you have to run to Home Depot, get some plants, get some things for the baby, whatever else you need for the new baby room. So it's very nice. It's a 60-40 split. So what that does for you is if you have the two kids on the one side, you can also have the other one down or vice versa. You know, the, the wife's going to take a couple of them every once in a while. Now, what I want you to do is come around to the side of this vehicle right here. One of the concerns you have is you can tell there's nice leg room. As you see, I'll step in here. It's very easy and simple to get in and out of the vehicle. All your controls are here to roll down the windows and everything else. What's nice is you can also lock them so your kids can't get back there. One of the things you are very concerned about is safety. You'll have all the safety child restraint seats back there. You also have the tethers, what we call it, to lock in the baby seats and everything else. Before we go inside the vehicle, what I'd really like to do is show you under the hood. As you go to a lot of the manufacturers out here, as you're looking at the different products, the Lexus, the BMW, and everything else that you're considering, what's really nice is the hood goes extremely far up. A couple things I've noticed. When you sit in the passenger seat, you'll also notice if something was ever happened and this hood was to go up, you can actually get a clear vision of the road because the hood's going to go extremely left. What else it does is give the mechanics an opportunity to work on your engine. As you notice here, I want you to put your hands on this right now. See how this rubber gasket goes all the way around the car? Okay, it does serves a purpose. And what it is, is the air comes in, comes over the engine, cools it. What's really nice is when you close this hood, this actually seals off. A lot of the air you're breathing inside the cabin comes in here. It doesn't come off the engine, which is really nice. I want you to touch this bar. Pull your hand on this bar. Found out from Mercedes-Benz, that's cost about $79. They say all cars are built equally. They're not. Okay? Are they all the same price? When you go and look at them, all the window stickers are basically the same price. Do they all cost the same to build? Probably not. This is one example. You know what that is? That's a high-strength allied steel bar. Imagine yourself in a car. The car is just like this. You get in an accident. What happens? The car collapses. Where are your feet? Your feet are here. The dashboard's back here. And you got airbags. Well, one thing you're going to really find out that's amazing, you have knee airbags in this car. But another thing this bar does, it actually makes the car crimple in a different direction. So it gives you more room as the car takes the impact by your feet, where, which is closer to the engine. So that you know, way you don't break your ankles, your legs, and everything else. Also, as you knew, three solid hood latches. They don't want that hood coming up in any way. You'll go out there, other manufacturers have them. But watch, I want you to put your hand on them. You're going to find out they're plastic. A lot of them are not made out of steel. They're made out of plastic. Go ahead and slam that hood for me. As hard as you can, just slam that. A solid feel. I want you to come around over here. So the other features I've noticed, go there. Put your hand on the car. You'll see it's a solid, firm car. Other manufacturers out there, I'm not saying they do that. Do not, in any case, go to BMW or Lexus and demonstrate this. One thing you can notice is I can hang on this door. I'm not showing you I'm strong to hang on this door or anything else. It shows the structural integrity of this vehicle, how strong it is. So if you ever got in an accident, and definitely a side impact accident, you're protected. Go ahead and take a seat in this beautiful new car. How's the legroom feel? Nice. Okay. You also have it, you can move it back a little bit. You can drop it a little bit, so give you a little bit more room also. You can bring it up or back. You have 14 way adjustable position on that, including your lumbar, which is all air right here. This is all powered up and down, in and out. So you can adjust it to exactly the way you feel comfortable driving. The more comfortable you feel driving this vehicle, the safer you're going to be, believe it or not. Okay? 
Did you notice everything is right up in front of here? It's up in front, shows you everything that you can guide and direct the car off of. Okay? You also have it over here to the side. It's called the multimedia program if you have it. You also have what we call the mouse, just like on a computer. Works and guides and everything, and it's directed, makes it very easy. Now, can you imagine you and your wife, with the two little ones in the back, going for a nice drive? You can go long distance and everything else. What I'd like to do now is get a copy of your driver's license, take you outside, go over the car a little bit more in detail with you, and take it for a little test drive. Most important thing, a lot of people tell me, no, no, I don't want to test drive, I don't want to test drive. Every car drives differently. I want you to feel this car and how it holds to the road, the strength, the power, okay? 201 horsepower. This is a four-cylinder. It's direct fuel injection, high pressure, which that means to you is 21 miles to the gallon in the city and 31 miles on the highway. I always tell people that's low ball. What we'll do is we'll set the um, trip, I and mean, we'll take it for a little test drive. You'll probably see we'll get about 33, 34 on the highway, which is really nice. Let me see that copy of that driver's license real quick for you. Thank you.